Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. I actually am not doing so well. I am on the tail end of a summertime cold, which is so weird because I haven't been sick in a year and a half. When this whole COVID thing happened, I stopped getting colds. So it feels really weird to have a cold now. Um, I'm feeling fine, but I will randomly sneeze like 10 times in a row and then have a very runny nose. So it's not a good look. I've been laying low the last couple days to avoid freaking people out because, you know, nobody wants somebody sick around them. So I am feeling up to filming today, but if my voice sounds a little strange, that's why. This is going to be a monthly update for Project 10 Uses. The point of this project is to work on 10 products, use them each 10 times, and then they roll out and I could roll something new in to take its place. I technically did not meet the 10 use mark on anything in the project for this month, but something is leaving this project. I've had to make an executive decision. It wasn't easy, but I have decided that I am going to let go of half of this CoverGirl liquid lipstick duo. This is the liquid lipstick here, and this is the clear balm that you could put over the liquid lipstick to make it look shiny and feel more comfortable. I'm not gonna get rid of this. This I'm gonna keep and just use as a lip balm. So this is staying, but it's leaving this project. This, however, is going to be decluttered. When I originally put it in this project months and months ago, it was to see if I wanted to declutter it. And after I started wearing it, I received so much positive feedback from you guys that I decided, no, I'm not gonna declutter it. Because I never received any negative feedback about this color, it started growing on me and I started to like this brown a lot. And I have been wearing it here and there. And I wasn't going to declutter it. The formula is not perfect. I don't know what the factors are that can alter this liquid lipstick, but there are times when I apply this lipstick and it lasts all day long. And then there are other times when I apply this lipstick and almost immediately it starts crumbling and flaking and getting splotchy or like coming off in patches. But that's not why I'm decluttering this. The reason I'm decluttering this is that I've broken it. And that was finally the final straw. I was using this the other day and I went to go put the cap back on and I heard a snapping sound and this top came separated from this but then this came separated from this so it does not twist shut anymore it's just kind of loose and I shove it down like that and I keep it up like that and so when I want to apply it all I can hold on to is this little edge right here to apply it so that's what finally forced me into making a decision to let go of this. Now, that means a few different things. First of all, before I start shopping for the shade of brown, I think I need to do a video where I shop my stash to see if I possibly have any dupes for this shade in any formula within my stash. So expect a video soon because before I start scouring the stores for this shade of brown or a shade of brown that I would like, I need to see what I have, and I haven't looked at my brown lipsticks in forever, so I need to go through what I have and see if I have any dupes for this shade, so I might be filming that tomorrow. The other thing though, from a decluttering standpoint, I bet a lot of you guys are really excited to hear that I'm getting rid of this, but unfortunately, getting rid of this does not change my inventory numbers. I mean, technically, it changes my inventory numbers for my liquid lipsticks, but I still have this. And in my inventory, I count these as one item. I don't count these as two. So I suppose if I was to do my inventory today, these, which were in my liquid lipstick category, would now be out of my liquid lipstick category and that would be down by one, but this would be moved over to my lip balm category and I will be using this just as a lip balm like at night or in the day. So it doesn't really alter my inventory too much. And for the purposes of my low buy, I don't think I can give myself a point for decluttering this until I finish this. So I'm in a weird predicament, but that's what I'm thinking right now. I could be subjected to change my mind. You guys always have some good insight in the comments section, but I'm thinking that 
as good as it is that I'm letting go of this, it's not really working for me anymore. It's not going to add anything to my low buy bank at this time, and it's really not going to affect my inventory too much. It will be good to get my liquid lipstick category down by one, but I would have rather panned this lipstick, but when the container broke, I felt like it was a sign from up above. So this is leaving this project for now, and this shade is leaving my stash. I will be doing a dupe that shade of lipstick video very soon. All right, let's go over where I'm at with the remaining products. I have used a bunch of them, but like I said, I haven't met my goal on any of them. First of all, I have my three liquid lipsticks from the Too Faced Holiday set. I have Hot Toddy, which I've now used three times. I have Sugar Cookie, which I've now used three times. I think it's three, it might be four. And I have Caramel Apple, which is still at one time. I have not reached for that one at all. Next, I have the four shades from my Dose of Colors times Desi and Katie collaboration. This is the Girls palette. And I have used this, I'm wearing this shade called Turbo Sun today all over my lid. I have used Noli one time. I've used Suze three times. I've used Harpoon one time and I've used Turbo Sun two times. So I haven't reached for this a ton, but I have used it a couple times in the past month and I've been enjoying it. It's a nice quad. I like it. I'm, I'm glad I rolled it into this project. And the last two products I kind of put in the project last month together. The first one is this Dirty Peach Lip Liner from Kylie, Cos Kylie Cosmetics. And the second one is this Maybelline Color Elixir in breathtaking apricot that took literally 20 seconds for me to read the bottom it's probably time for bifocals i put these in together i have four uses on both of them i have not used them together exclusively i'm actually wearing this as a lip liner today and there was another time when i only wore this and not the lip liner but for the most part i use this as a lip liner and then i put this on top of it when i do wear it and i love the combination so i'm at four uses for both of these i wouldn't be surprised if i had the 10 use mark for these two by next month. I just love reaching for these. I've been really enjoying it. Okay, since I decided to pull the CoverGirl liquid lipstick from this project and declutter it, I need to roll something in its place and I'm going with a perfume. I do have a lot of perfumes that I should be working on and this will distract me slightly, but I've really been wanting to reach for this lately. It's summer. It is the perfect summer scent and I have two fewer perfumes to be working on now than I did last month. So I kind of want to congratulate myself and allow myself to use this 10 times in celebration of my progress. And that is this right here. This is the Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar Perfume. The first time I smelled this, I absolutely fell in love. It's definitely one of those sunscreeny, beachy, vanilla coconut scents that is just nummy 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 i love this scent and i after i found it and fell in love with it and bought it i really haven't used it since i do have another vanilla coconutty perfume that i like to use too but i would like to use this 10 times and enjoy it this summer i am so excited to reach for this i have lots of good scents that i'm working on right now a few very delicious samples that I could be working on. So I'm gonna be smelling good for the next month and I'm looking forward to it. But I am rolling this into the project for this month in place of the cover girl. What? What are you two doing over there? What mischief are you causing? Mazes. Oh, Why? did you do that maze? I did that. Why that you need to do the H to maze? Is Hazel coloring your pictures for you? What's she doing down there? I don't know, but he definitely has my book. <laughs> Are you coloring his pictures, Hayes? I'm just coloring my pictures. <coughs> All right, guys, that is going to be it for this update. I'm kind of bummed that I didn't really meet my 10 use goal on any of these items, but I guess I've been working on other things. I have plenty to work on, so I can't work on all of it all the time but I would like to get back to working on some of these items and hit the 10 use mark on them. Maybe roll out one of those liquid lipsticks next month. 
they've been in this project for way too long. So that's the plan. All right, you guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.